80-20 rule or the Pareto principle, it was built on an observation that 80% of the land in Italy was owned by about 20% of the population. Management consultants and Six Sigma practitioners use this tool to conclude that roughly 80% of the effects come from 20% of the causes. I hope you remember that we spoke about the one simple equation which is y is the function of x. Pareto chart is actually a combo chart. It's a line graph which shows the cumulative total and individual values in a descending order by a bar graph. While Pareto chart has been added as a graph in the latest version of Excel, but let's understand the calculations behind it and how to create a Pareto chart. I've created this Excel which has some examples of customer complaints. The reasons why the customers are complaining for a given business. In order for us to create a Pareto chart, the first thing that we do is to create the cumulative frequency. This is how the cumulative frequency is created. And now we will create the percentage of it. There we go. So this now has created the cumulative frequency for all the customer complaints that we have. Now precisely when we would look at this particular table, it tells us that the top three defects which is invoice not sent, quality and packaging are the top three defects which is contributing to almost 80% of the overall problems. Let's look at how the Pareto chart would look like. We can select clustered column line on secondary axis and like I mentioned earlier this is a combo chart I go to combo chart and we can change the line to secondary axis this is what I was explaining earlier I can delete this cumulative frequency bar as it's not needed in this bar chart or in this Pareto chart and we can name it as Pareto chart and this line in here, which is pretty much over about 85%, is almost connecting to the 80% line. This is how the critical elements are studied. That whichever are the top elements that are contributing to the majority of the problems usually would appear in the left hand side of the Pareto chart. Please remember to sort this in the descending order before you create the Pareto chart. Now sometimes what may happen is that we may not get these numbers we may get the details as plain text that what has been the top reasons for our defect and it can be given in only categorical values. We can create a pivot table and create a Pareto chart or we can go to mini tab and create a Pareto chart. I go to stat, quality tools and I go to Pareto chart. Let's see what it says. It says a Pareto chart displays defects in order of decreasing frequency to prioritize the improvement efforts. Like I mentioned, a Pareto chart is going to help us identify the improvement opportunities. What are the top reasons that we want to work on immediately? Many a times in, in our day-to-day -day operations as well, we are given a lot of business problems and sometimes it becomes difficult for us to prioritize which problem that we want to solve first. Pareto chart is very very useful in those scenarios when we don't know which is our top priority or the top problem that we want to solve for immediately. And here's the Pareto chart in mini tab. This is exactly the similar output that we had in Excel. It's not going to be any different. It's exactly the same because I'd use the same numbers that we had used in the Excel file. I hope this video has helped you understand the Pareto chart and how can you prioritize that which all problem areas that you want to target first for your continuous improvement initiatives.